Hey everybody, Jack here, and I'm here to tell you about the wonderful world of science fiction. Science fiction is a wonderful genre, often associated with like future topics such as robotics, space exploration, the metaverse, all really scientific stuff. Who, wow, who'd have guessed? The science fiction's about scientific topics. There are, it's a commonly used topic for movies, but there are still plenty of books that that incorporate this genre. Such as this one that I'm holding right here, known as Snow Crash. The real world hero protagonist, yes, that is his name, delivers pizza. A now very high stakes job that, well, if you d deliver a pizza late, you will just disappear. You don't want to deliver a pizza late. <clears throat> but in the metaverse, he's a warrior prince trying to defeat a new computer virus known as Snow Crash that's threatening, threatening to bring about the infopocalypse. <clears throat> or another book, <clears throat> classic here, The War of the Worlds. No, of an old good, uh, an old book, very old book, but a very good book about Martian invasions, tripods, death lasers, the like. It's a very old book, but it's also an incredibly good book. One of my favorites. I have two, I would show you two others, but I can't since they're audiobooks, and I don't have them. I listen to them. Very good. They're known as Hail Mary and Armada. Hail Mary is about a, um, well, I can't really reveal the plot too much. It's just that good. But Hail Mary is essentially about a lone uh, astronaut finding himself waking up on a ship with no memory and two dead crewmates next to him. Fun, fun. He's circling around an unknown star and, uh, spoilers ahead. <clears throat> so skip to whatever part to avoid him while the sun is dying. And he has to find a cure. Can't really say too much. The story is just that good. You have to experience it for yourself. The next one is Armada, where Zach Lightman fought, is sitting in classroom one day when a ship, straight out of his favorite game, starts zigzagging across the sky. They, he goes home, and eventually. He finds himself being drafted into the Earth Defense Alliance, which is essentially the real-life version of his favorite game. His favorite game was essentially a training simulation for an expected alien invasion. Yes, from the icy moon of Jupiter's Europa, which had... And the Europans want to kill us because we desecrated their most sacred temple. Anyways, after those big spoilers, uh, we have come to the end of the books that I can think of right now. So, have a wonderful Christmas or whatever time of the year it is that you're seeing this video. Or... And I'll be back whenever I get around to doing this again. Goodbye.